All right, so now we're going to have a video on how to log into IXL and see your assignments for IXL. So, right here, your homework assignment for today, Tuesday, March 24th. Log into Clever, go to IXL, complete the topic, percent number 9, percent of change. Click Submit here when completed, at least an 80%. You all know inequality, so you all know that that means we would really like you to get as high as you possibly can, but an 80 is the minimum requirement, so you need an 80 or higher. All right, again, we go back to the Baldwin website, click Clever. We're going to log in. We're going in as Janice one more time. Again, thank you so much, Janice. Right here, she actually has IXL favorited, which is very nice, so it's nice and easy at the top for her. Oh, just kidding. All right, here we go. All right, now, all we have to do for this, we click math, okay? We're in seventh grade math. All of us should be in seventh grade math. We scroll all the way down here. Look, all these little medals, that, those are the ones that Janice has already completed, okay? And then next to it, in parentheses, is her score. All right, now, the lessons that you guys are supposed to be completing for homework, Mr. Stark and I have been putting a little gold star next to it on the side. So right here, look, tonight's homework is number nine percent of change. Janice has not done it yet because there is no medal and there is no parentheses. Okay, look right here. Um, percents number eight, self percent equations, word problems. This was the homework on March 18th. Janice did it. She got an 82, there's her score, all right? You get the medal when you master it. Mastery we know is a 100%. So Janice did this homework assignment, this homework assignment, and this homework assignment. She is missing percent of change. Down here, you also had two assignments in consumer math. You had to do topic six and topic eight. When we give you guys the topic, so for example, consumer math, number six, this is what we mean, consumer math, number six, percent of a number, tax, discount, and more. Or consumer math, find the percent, tax, discount, and more. Janice did this assignment. Here's her 80%. She did not complete this one right here. She needs to go in and complete this assignment and this assignment. Okay, now I'm going to show you what Mr. Stark and I see from our screen. Bear with me for one moment. Okay, I have to log out over here. We're going to sign in over here. A little sign in, a little sign in. Okay, here we go. We're going into IXL. Now, here's how we check your progress. We go into students. And now we literally pull up your math work. We only want the assignments that we're giving you, so we filter it because a lot of you guys have been, I don't I think you search in the search bar, and some of you do sixth grade assignments, some of you do ninth grade assignments. So we filter it so that we see the skills that we've assigned to you in seventh grade. So now Janice is in period two. We're going to go all the way down to Janice right here. We see Janice's assignments. Here's how many questions that she's answered. Here's how long it took her to complete it. And here are her scores. So those were the same scores that we saw from her screen as well. So she has done four out of the six assignments. She has 80, 80, 82, and 100, so she's good to go for now. Uh, if she would like to get higher than the 80s, she's absolutely more than welcome to go back in and repractice the same assignment until she gets a higher grade. But she does not have to. What she does have to do is go back in and complete the two starred assignments that she has not done yet. And that's it. That's all that we are expecting you guys to do for your math assignment. So again, if you have any other questions on how to do this, please let us know and we will be happy to help you.